This is the third mole video. In this video, we're going to learn how to do math. We're going to use oxygen. The reason we're using oxygen is we're comfortable with its formula mass and the math surrounding it. Make sure you understand, I'm just using oxygen because we can do the math in our head without a calculator. And I'm using it so that then we can transfer this knowledge for questions in which we, we're going to need a calculator. So let's imagine we're dealing with oxygen. We've been given a mass of 64 grams, and we want to know what the volume of that is, or the number of molecules, or the number of moles. Okay? Well, the key thing really is to put it into moles. Okay? And I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to convert. So if I had 64 grams of oxygen, that's not one mole. I'm figuring everybody here is going to figure out by now that that's two moles because one mole weighs 32 grams, right? Well, how do we do that in our head? Like, what do we actually do? Well, what we did was we basically went 32.00 grams is one mole, or essentially, and we got two. So what we did was we divided by the GFM, the gram form mass, or the molar mass. So whenever you want to go from a given mass, I'll add given to this mole math, into moles, we basically divide by the GFM. And this goes in the, and if we want to go the opposite direction, we're going to do the opposite thing. So if I said to you, you know, I have four moles of oxygen, well, how much would it weigh? Well, I go, oh, one mole is 32.00 grams. Now, I know some people still don't like the factor label method, but what you should be seeing is I'm just multiplying by 32, or I'm just multiplying by the gram formula mass. So if I had four moles, I would get whatever four times 32 is. That's the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so... How would we get from our number of moles to volume or molecules and back? Well, imagine I started with, uh, if I have two moles of oxygen, how many molecules will that be? Well, most of you are going to know the answer is 12 times 10 to the 23rd. Why is that? Well, I take my two moles, and I go, oh, one mole is 6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And so I end up with 12 times 10 to the 23rd. What I really want you to understand is whatever you're doing, whenever you're going from moles to molecules, you're basically multiplying times 6 times 10 to the 23rd. And if you're going to go from molecules backwards, like if you had 12 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, how many moles is that? Well, instead of multiplying, you would flip this thing, and you would divide by 6 times 10 to the 23rd. By the way, there's a little sideline over here, number of atoms, okay? And that's what you have to deal with the formula. We'll go over that in class. What about volume? Well, same idea. If I have two moles, well, what volume is that? Well, at this point, you know one mole is 22.4 liters of a gas at SDP. So how much is two moles? Well, it's 44.8. Well, what did you do? Well, to get from moles to volume, you multiply by 22.4 liters. Which means if you had 44.8 liters and you want to go back to number of moles, what are you doing with the 22.4? You're dividing by 22.4. Now, it would look like this. You'd be like 44.8 liters, you know, and you put 22.4 liters is one mole of oxygen. But you're still dividing by 22.4, and you get two, and it's moles of O2. This is basically the mole map. Now, why is this important? Because you can get some really tough problems, which I'm going to talk about on the next page. Or actually, yes, next page. So let's do a problem. It really doesn't matter where we start. As long as we remember, I'm just going to fill in this diagram really quickly. Okay, I filled it in. Uh, a quick helper here. Basically, whenever you're trying to get into moles, you're dividing by uh, you know, the gram form mass, the volume of a mole, or the number of molecules in a mole. Whenever you're going away from mole, you're going to be multiplying or something. So if you're leaving the mole, multiply. Leave mole, multiply. I don't know. Maybe you can remember that. Here we go. So let's say um, I start you off with some arbitrary number that I'm just making up off the top of my head. I have 13.7 uh, grams of oxygen, and I want to know uh, how many moles I have, what the volume of that is, how many molecules I have. How would I do that? Well, let's say we start. The first thing I think to do probably would be convert it to moles. That's usually the first step for almost anything in chemistry. So we'll take our, we'll set up a factor label problem. And if we want to go from a given mass, which is basically what we're given, 13.7 grams, right? We can turn that into moles. We're going to divide that by the gram formula mass, which by now, if you don't know it's 32, 
either you haven't watched the videos or you're just thinking that number is just not that important. Whatever. Here we go. So I'm going to divide it by 32.00 grams is one mole. 32 grams of oxygen is one mole of oxygen. Notice how well I live with these O2s cancel out. The grams cancel out. And if I take out my handy dandy calculator here, I take 13.7 and divide it by 32, I get 0.428. Now, that's moles of oxygen. Now, that makes sense because I have a little less than 16 grams, and 16 grams is half. And that's how you should be thinking. Like, you should be thinking a little bit mathy here, right? 13.7 grams is less than 32 grams. It's a little less than half of 32 grams. So I have a little less than 0.5. Okay, so what volume would it be? Well, I can take my point. Now, at this point, I've, gone, I've done the divide by the gram formula mass thingy, right? I now have the number of moles. I can figure out the volume or the number of molecules if I want. So how many, uh, what, what would be the volume of this? Well, I can take my 0.42, I can take my 0.428 mole of oxygen. And if I'm leaving moles, I'm going to multiply. So I go, oh, one mole, notice how everything counts, one mole of O2. Notice I have moles on the bottom now, right? Is um, 22.4 liters at STP, which I'm not going to write in there, okay? And so I can take that, and basically what I'm doing is multiplying by 22.4 times 22.4 equals up oh, 9.59 liters. If I want to know the number of molecules, I can take my 0.428 mole of O2, and I can multiply and I can multiply that to get the molecules. So I go one mole of O2 is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, and so I go. I literally take this 0 0.428, 0 .4, 0 0.428 times 6.022, and I get 2.57 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2. Now, be careful. I could ask you for the number of atoms. If I do that, since every molecule of O2 has two atoms, I just take this, and I go, okay, I multiply this by this. For every one molecule of O2 has two atoms of oxygen. And so I'm basically just multiplying this number times two. So times two, and I get 5.15 times 10 to the 23rd, which is really just, you know, atoms, which is really just two times that number. And that's how you're supposed to be thinking about it. And that really kind of covers most of the stuff in the mole.